and then we can proceed with the global VAR. Hello? Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, so global VAR, but I will not use this presentation. Uh, uh, I will send you all of this, but I want to use the, the original manual, which comes in the global VAR. So where you can get the, the, the program to use global VAR? Well, you just simply type global VAR on Google and the MATLAB. And then there should be some, all right, maybe I should skip the MATLAB. All right, this is, it's a Google site and it tells us the global VAR modeling, all right. So you can download it, uh, the second version. If you go to the to this window, GVAR toolbox, and then you can download the version which is 2.0. Yes. So you can download it from here. Uh, the last update it was on 24 March apparently. So this program is a really complicated program, and the model is powerful. It's one of the most powerful that I have seen in econometrics, but it's really sensitive. Yes, it's really sensitive for a lot of things. So I'm going to stray, I'm going to go directly to the to the behavior of the GVAR toolbox. Okay, so I have downloaded the GVAR toolbox, and this is will this is the content of the file. And then you can see there is a multiple set of folders. Yes. You got codes, you got flows, outputs, samples, and templates. Now, the first one, codes, has all the codes that are required in the MATLAB computations, yes? So if you can check out the names of this, like vector, uh, vector error correction models, error correction models, vector autoregressive structure, you can see it has names of some of the approaches in panel data and also in time series analysis, all right? Now, the second one, flows. This is one of the most important tools regarding the flows. But I will, I will just open the manual and do the example of the econometrical procedure before we go into the detail of the files. So it comes with a manual. Uh, uh, if you're going to apply this, I suggest you, you get a team of five researchers, maybe, and dedicate one year, maybe, maybe two years to, to do a model, a global VAR model. It's one of the complicated, it's easy to break down, and it's easy to, well, to mess up, to be honest. So, uh, you can read all of this, but I want to go for this, the econometric methods. I will not cover all of the econometric methods because they, they are really a, a big amount of topics. And this is just an introduction to global VAR, yes. But if you have any questions and I can help you, you can communicate with me and I will try to help you. So let's go for the econometric methods. So what is GVAR? What it means GVAR? GVAR in this case means global vector autoregressive, yes. So in a theoretical aspect, the global vector autoregressive structure it's derived from the idea that the world can be seen as a whole, yes? Where everything is connected with everything, yes? Therefore, all of the variables that are included, they tend to be exogenous. They tend to be endogenous, excuse me, endogenous, because they are determined by the system itself. So the global modeling framework lies on a set of individual VARX. So what is VARX? It's vector auto regressive with exogenous variables. Therefore, global VAR handles everything as endogenous, but also can take some exogenous 